Time now for the evening rush. An hours long standoff with SWAT comes to an end with a suspect in custody. Police arrested Wesley Scott after this scene near Golden Second. You can see police used a robot to break the window of the car and put tear gas inside. Scott is wanted on domestic violence charges. You'll remember he's also accused of helping dispose of a dead puppy after investigators say his wife threw that dog from a third story balcony downtown. A registered sex offender in another state arrested in New Mexico. Police say Ashton Mullins met Corey Bracken at a Santa Fe Auto Zone. After Mullins told Bracken about his history with underage girls, Bracken contacted a friend of his to set up an undercover sting, posing as a 14 year old girl. Police arrested Mullins and charged him with failing to register as a sex offender. A man is sentenced to 25 years for murdering three members of an El Rancho family, and he will get credit for time served. Police say Nicholas Ortiz killed Lloyd Ortiz, his wife Dixie, and their son Stephen with a pickaxe in the middle of the night. The family was not related to Nicholas. Police say he broke into the family's home to rob them. The DA asked for 72 years. The community remembering a 21-year-old shot and killed at an Albuquerque park. Today, community members gathered at a St. Bernadette Catholic Church for a final service for Kayla Campos. Police say Kayla was at Bianchetti Park two Fridays ago. He says they witnessed a robbery in progress. When Campos started to drive away, someone fired shots, killing her. Your weather headlines for Tuesday show another storm on the way, but we'll get off to a cold start. Temperatures in the 20s, well below freezing across the metro, but then the sun will be out. Temperatures will warm nicely into the low 60s. Then our cold storm moves in tomorrow night and Wednesday. Rio Rancho Public Schools are short 24 bus drivers. They say because of this, some students are arriving 15 to 20 minutes late to school. The district chalks it up to low wages. The starting pay, $13.52 an hour while APS starts at 17 an hour. The district is having a finance committee meeting this Wednesday to discuss increasing rates for district bus drivers. New Mexico's governor is calling for an investigation into the Otero County Processing Center in her letter to the Inspector General of ICE, ICE Asylum Seekers have reportedly attempted self-harm and despair over the cruel conditions in which they are being held. Tomorrow, a judge could decide if the man accused of murdering five-year-old Renesme Calzada will stay behind bars until trial. The FBI arrested Malcolm Torres more than a month after the girl was found in the Rio Grande, south of Española. Torres is charged with second-degree murder. He's expected in court for a detention hearing tomorrow. The men charged in connection to the murders of two Albuquerque teens pleaded not guilty. Investigators say Stephen Goldman Jr., Jimmy Dunbar Atkins, and Julio Armentero tortured and killed Colin Romero and Amid Latif last December. Goldman's father, Stephen Goldman Sr., is accused of tampering with evidence. All four entered not guilty pleas. Thousands of people are voting early this year. The Bernalillo County Clerk's Office says at the end of last week, more than 20,000 ballots had been cast. The ballot will include everything from candidates for city council to a bond package that includes funding for road projects. Early voting continues through November 2nd. Well, tomorrow is going to be actually a pretty good day in advance of our next storm. So we'll go with a three on the Metro Threat Index. The only concern, a cold start to the morning, well below freezing, less wind on the way, and then we get ready for our storm late Tuesday night. Virgin Galactic, now the first space tourism company to hit public markets as they began trading on the stock exchange today. This comes as Virgin Galactic is moving operations to the spaceport here in New Mexico. The downtown growers market continues indoors for three Saturdays next month. This market is smaller, but will still have many of the same farmers, artisans and food vendors. This Saturday is the last downtown growers market at Robinson Park of the season. Find details at always on KRQE.com. Turns out your pet can also donate blood. Pet Blood Bank Hemo Solutions is taking blood donations at Albuquerque's Veterinary Emergency and Specialty Center off Montgomery between Carlisle and San Mateo. Technicians take a blood sample to ensure the dog is healthy and able to donate. Donating takes just three to five minutes. Retired firefighters are renovating the home of a retired Albuquerque firefighter who is battling stage four cancer. About 30 volunteers from the Association of Firefighters spent the day sprucing up Philip Candelaria's home. The firefighters did everything from landscaping to building a shed. 